Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and we have a brand new irregular sale that is now live on the website. This is actually our largest irregular sale this year. There's 60 different items. We're gonna go off on this video and look at them one by one. And the first wallet up today is one of my favorite wallets that we make. This is a 100% color number eight Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox. And you might be asking, well, what makes a wallet irregular? Well, it's because of small cosmetic issues. Typically, there's little scuffs and scratches or maybe a stitch that's a little bit out of line. Nothing that's going to affect the overall durability of the wallet. It's just something not up to our standards. So if I zoom in really tight on this Johnny the Fox, you might see these little tiny scuffs and scratches. That's sort of indicative of many of the regulars that we're going to see today. What I like most about this particular Johnny the Fox is the 100% color eight. So we've got color eight shell on the outside, color eight shell on the inside. All of the edges are also hand stained to match that shell color of the color eight and all the edges of the card holders. Up next, I have a Bugs Moran and one of my favorite leathers. This is natural Latigo. What makes this one a regular is this little piece of dirt on the spine of the wallet. On the interior of this one, we got something special. This is Color 8 Shell Cordovan with a gator texture. Here's another new, more recent leather edition from Horween. This is a leather called Pearl DeVille, and it's the most gray color leather that I've seen Horween make. And I like this one very much because it's hard to make a naturally appearing gray leather without making it look like paint. So this one has a really great natural finish. What makes this one a regular is this little bitty spot right here. There's a couple little imperfections in the leather and this is a one-shot card case. Here's another one-shot card case. This is natural shell cordovan and I really love the blue stitching on the edge of this one. On the back, this is where we can see a little bit more of these imperfections. There's a little bit of roughness of appearance on the shell on the bottom right here and little bits of scuffs and scratches. Up next is a Frank the Enforcer card holder. This one has two card slots in the front. It has one larger card slot in the center. This will hold US dollars folded in half and then one card slot on the back. This one has a very, very faint little scratch in the center here that might be hard to see on the video. And check out this Capone money clip. This is actually from one of our private stock events. This is a leather called Shell Cordovan and this is the psychedelic version of the shell. It has little bits of green and tan ranging and sort of pooling all over the backside of this wallet. Take a look at the inside too. We got more of that psychedelic Shell Cordovan. You can see in the center here, this is actually marbled color eight Shell Cordovan. The reverse side of that marbled color eight is what you see on the back and it's pretty unique. We call this the psychedelic. What makes this wallet irregular is this cracking of the leather on the spine. And again, all of the irregularities, none of these are going to affect the durability. This is more of a cosmetic issue with a cracking down the spine. Up next is a Bugs Moran in my favorite Shell Cordovan color. This is the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. It's a little bit more orangey and tan when compared to the natural shell. On the exterior of this wall is where we find the irregularities. There's a lot of little scuffs and scratches on this piece of shell, but on the inside here, really nice and clean. Amaretto Shell Cordovan with a great Horween ink stamp in the center. I have another Johnny the Fox to show you. This is an all reverse black shell Cordovan piece, and it's really cool on the outside here. This is a great example for me to show the color range of the reverse black shell Cordovan. So sometimes that reverse side of the black shell is a little bit lighter and tan, like like we see on the outside here and it does range to be a little bit darker like you can see on the bottom half of this wallet here check out the inside though sometimes we see it and more often we see it as a little bit darker green like on the interior of this Johnny the Fox what makes this one irregular are these little white spots on the inside center here that can't seem to remove. Up next is a Capone money clip, and this is in the classic color eight shell cordovan. It's a dark brown burgundy shade, really nice. In certain angles, more of those reddish tones appear. In other angles, it just appears a little bit more of a brown shade. We actually have three of these Capone money clips in the shell color eight available. All of these have little bits of scuffs and scratches. Here's a wallet option that we don't see very often. This is 100% color number four shell cordovan, and it's a little bit of a shame because there's quite a bit of dense scuffs and scratches on the exterior of this Johnny the Fox, but otherwise it's just such a nice shade and really bright shiny luster. Check out the inside though, with the color four shell cordovan on the interior. This is something that we're not able to achieve very frequently, and that's because we need naturally thin pieces of shell cordovan to make the interior of the Johnny the Fox, and not every piece of shell is thin enough to be appropriate for the interior of this wallet. Here's another Johnny the Fox option to show you Black Dublin leather, and this black Dublin is my favorite black leather around. Most times black leathers that you see are just very 
plain and boring and the black Dublin is sort of the opposite of that. There's immense grain character in the Dublin leather. I like seeing all this figuring and natural character, but what makes these irregular and there's a few of these uh, that we'll have available. We've got little cosmetic issues, little bits of creasing right there. And on the interior of this Johnny the Fox, we have black horsehide Latigo. Let me show you one more of those black Dublin Johnny the Foxes, just to give you a sense of how they range. You can see that we still have some of this figuring on the exterior. I just love the black Dublin. Nice bright shiny luster as well. There's small little cosmetic issues on this one. Here's a black shell Cordovan Bugs Moran with again, small imperfections on the shell. I think the biggest thing to point out on this one is the scar right on the Horween ink stamp in the center. Here's another black shell Cordovan Bugs Moran that I like very much. We've got the black shell on the outside and on the interior, we have reverse black shell Cordovan again, the reverse side of the black shells are a little bit more green of a color. I've got another Bugs Moran here, but this is the denim blue shell cordovan. It's a darker blue shade, a little bit more vibrant aqua blue undertones on the interior of this one. I really like the look of the inside because the reverse centerpiece here with the Horween ink stamp is cut just about perfectly. Let's get into some Herbies and tall Herbies. We're going to start off with a tall Herbie here in the M's Chrome Excel. This is actually the same exact wallet that I'm wearing right now, except this middle piece is not flipped backwards. So here's Here's my Herbie to show you how this one wears in. I'm really enjoying how the M's Chrome Excel is aging. Here's an all reverse black shell cord of an Herbie. And this one has incredible random die marks on the exterior. Here's a look at the inside of this fat Herbie. Another fat Herbie to show you, this is natural shell cord of an, and I noticed on this natural shell fat Herbie, the exterior, looks about right for color. This is how the natural shell looks to me most often. The interior of this one is a little bit more red, which is kind of interesting. And you will notice that as I spin this leather around, the color changes quite dramatically. So I noticed taking the photos of this guy it was a little bit more orange and red looking on the interior. Here's another M's Chrome Excel in the natural color, but this is a standard Fat Herbie with that bill slot notch in the back as opposed to that tall Herbie that we looked at a minute ago with the bill slot that extends all the way to the top. This one's a little bit different. On the interior of this one, we've got a little bit of roughness on the reverse side of this middle piece. And here's another one of my favorite leathers. <laughs> we were looking at the natural Latigo a little bit ago on that Bugs Moran. This is a natural Latigo Fat Herbie. I actually wore one of these for about six months. Really enjoyed this leather. It develops a patina, but it's a little bit more slowly. The natural Latigo will darken and get a little bit brighter in luster. Here's a look at the interior of this one. And you might be able to see the irregularity right away. This scar sort of scratch cut in the center. Here's our most popular leather right now. This is the English tan Dublin on a fat Herbie. I just love this vibrant orangey tan shade. And on the interior of this fat Herbie, we've got more English tan Dublin. There are very tiny little spots on the top right of the card holders that make it irregular. One more fat Herbie to show you. This is the most popular Chrome Excel color right now. This is natural Chrome Excel that has no dye applied to it. So what you're seeing here is the natural color of all the waxes, oils, and greases that were tanned into the Chrome Excel. On the bottom left here, you can see these little dents and scratches that make it irregular. Here's a question for you. Are your initials CBW? Because this might be the great wallet for you. I'm gonna put this one up as an extra discount. We had a regular John the Fox here in Black Dublin that was personalized for CBW, and now we just don't have a home for it. So we've got Black Dublin on the outside and Black Horsehide Latigo on the inside. Here we have a vault key holder in reverse natural shell cordovans. If you look at the inside here, we can see natural shell just flipped around backwards. And we have a Horween ink stamp cut just about about perfectly into the exterior of this one. And here's the Tony the Ant that we're going to heavily discount. This is black shell cordovan, but there are some water spots on the exterior of this. So I'm gonna put this up for a, a deep discount if you ever wanted to try a black shell Tony the Ant. The inside is very nice. There's no water damage on the interior, just these little bits of water spots on the exterior right. Here's another Tony the Ant. This is natural shell cordovan. You can see we've got a tiny little scratch on the top right there. Really nice light tan shade, the natural shell, but it does range quite dramatically in color. You can see it, sometimes it's a little bit lighter in tan, sometimes it turns a little bit orange, which is very interesting. Here's another natural shell cordovan piece. This is a machine gun jack, and you can see this natural shell is a little bit more orange and red, which is pretty interesting. What's making this particular wallet an irregular is that it's not folding symmetrically. We stitched up this left side just a little bit too high. And here's another one-shot card case. This is reverse color eight shell cordovan. 
Cordovan. I love the random die marks on the reverse color eight shell. We like to flip these around backwards to show off the Horween ink stamp and those die marks, but also as an unintended side effect, we find that the reverse shell develops an incredible patina, so this will darken and get much brighter and luster. Here's another reverse shell Cordovan piece, but this is a two-shot card case in reverse black shell Cordovan. The two-shot is called a two-shot because there are two card holders. So we've got one in the front here and one larger one in the center. Here we have another reverse black shell Cordovan piece, but this is a Frank the Enforcer. It's kind of similar to the two-shot card case, but the Frank the Enforcer has more card slots on it and it more easily fits US dollars folded in half in this center compartment here. Whereas on the two-shot, those US dollars will stick out the top just a tiny bit. Here we have a denim blue shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer, but this is a shop-worn piece. You can see evidence of cards being put inside of this one. So we're gonna heavily discount this guy and it's a really nice piece of denim blue shell Cordovan. Here's another denim blue shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer. Again, that great blue shade. There are some scuffs and scratches on this particular piece that make it an irregular. One more Frank the Enforcer to show you. Again, in my favorite black leather, this is the black Dublin. This one is an irregular because we didn't add the crease lines underneath each of the card slots on the front. Here's a look at the backside of this Frank. And last but not least, I have three Chicago combs and comb sheets. So this is an English tan Dublin leather comb sheath that pairs up with this model number one carbon fiber comb from Chicago Comb. The comb slides into the sheath like this. It's great to travel with. And here's what the model one comb looks like inside of that comb sheath. You can see we've got some little bits of issues on the stitching on three of these comb sheets. So thanks for checking out all the irregulars that I showed you in the video today. All these are up on the website right now. Most of them tend to sell out pretty quickly. I wanted to come back to two of the ones that are my favorites, this 100% color eight Shell Cordovan John of the Fox is a total stunner. I really, really like how we do the dyed edges on the 100% Color 8 Foxes. And then of course I had to come back to this psychedelic shell, which we don't see very often. It's kind of a shame they had this little cracking down the spine, but I think it was just too special to not show. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for checking out everything in the video. And if you're interested in any of these pieces, I'll put up a link in the description here and you can check it out on our website, ashlandleather.com. All right, thanks again and take care.